Well, I wasn't expecting Joey Mawson to be sitting on pole, but here we are in Russia for the Black Sea Grand Prix, which is the third race of the Formula 3 series, and Joey Mawson's on pole. Just bizarrely. It was, I was not expecting that. So can he capitalise on it, and can we keep this role of podium finishes up? Hey guys, welcome to Season 1, Episode 6 of Race to the Top. I'm Ian, and in today's episode we do have the Black Sea Grand Prix, as you can see. Um, we have Joey Mawson sitting on pole after a blistering third sector, a right at the death of qualifying. Um, an amazing performance. Um, he's beaten Julian Falcaro for the first time in qualifying, and Julian Falcaro sat down in 10th place. He didn't do very well in the end. Um, we do have super soft tyres, um with knowledge, but that's all we've got. We don't have any uh, race trim knowledge, so this could be difficult for Julian Falcaro um, to even stay in the points, and it could be difficult for Joey Mawson as well. There's a 40% chance of rain, but there's nothing nothing coming uh, just yet. So I'm actually thinking of doing Julian Falcaro, keeping him on the long game, which is exactly why we're going to change their strategy. So Joey Mawson, we're going to keep him on the soft. We want him to stay out in front, um, and he's going to be pushing hard, pushing hard, which justified my my argument that I had yesterday in qualifying of uh, only using uh, Joey Mawson to set one lap. We're not, he wasn't going to have a banker lap because we need to save the two super soft, uh, brand new sets of super softs, and we're going to need them today. So I'm really, really glad that that paid off for me. But we will probably have to drop onto the softs as well. It's a 59 lap race. And as you can see, the super softs last most about 22 laps. So he will have to come in. Maybe we might be able to just get away with the one stop depending on how well he's doing, but that's that's something that we'll have to worry about at another time. 59 laps of fuel, of course. Um, so what we're going to do is Julian Falcaro, he's going to change onto the soft tyres. We're going to go for the long game here. We think, let's let, let everyone get a bit, bit ahead of us. We're going to go slow, we're going to go easy, and let's see if that pays off. It's going to be a gamble. I think splitting the strategies will work best for us. Whether that works or not, who knows? We'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Um, so that's what I'm going with. Driver strategy, of course. We want them to start off absolutely flat out. And let's get into the grid. So we've got Joey Mawson on pole with Mick Schumacher for company. On the second row, Rail, second row, Rail Hyman in third. Ryan Tavetta in fourth. Then we go on to the third row. We've got Daravala in fifth with Pedro Piquet for company in sixth. He retired in the last race. Mar Marino Sato in seventh with Joel Eriksson for eighth. And on the fifth row, Maximilian Gunther, who won the race last year, uh, last week, last month. I'll get it out eventually. With Julian Falcaro for company. He came second. So they are still stuck together. On the sixth row, we've got Harrison Newey with Alexander Sims, and then we've got Daniel Tictum and Makino in 14th place. Ralph Aaron in 15th, Jan Mardenbrah, who he's had a pretty good uh, last couple of races, he's down in 16th place. Alex Palau in 17th, Lando Norris, who came first in practice, he's down in 18th place for the Carlin car. And then on the back row, we've got Mikkel Jensen and Sasahara, who I believe, I'm going off memory here, he was last in Guildford, and was he last in, in Milan as well? Let me know in the comments if, you, if uh, you can remember that. And he's obviously at the back of the grid. So we're going to get into the race. We've got a 40% chance of rain. As We're going to zoom in a little bit as we have got five red lights and lights out. And away we go. Joey Mawson started off very, very well. And Hyman overtook Schumacher straight away. Falcaro is battling away there in the mid-pack. But Joey Mawson leads into that first corner as all the cars get away cleanly. Falcaro sitting in 11th place as he got overtaken by Newey but we've now got Hyman pushing right behind Mawson. Can Mawson hold on to that top spot? This is the crucial lap. If he can hold on to that top spot after a couple of laps and he's still there, then the, the race is ours to lose. Uh, but Hyman is really, really battling hard because Schumacher's dropped a bit away as Lando Norris has fallen to the back of the grid um, after his poor start. But otherwise, the top eight or so are pretty even, uh, except for that overtake by Hyman and Schumacher, it's all pretty even, as Falcaro has got ahead of Nui back into his 10th place Schumacher's dropped down to 4th now and Mawson is starting to build a close to a 2nd um, gap over Hyman in 2nd place, and we can relax again I love my commentary, I think I feel like David Croft of uh, Sky Sports for the F1, but I'm probably a bit better than him because I don't make as many mistakes so what we'll start doing is we'll start speeding things up a little bit now, because obviously we don't want to be uh, watching a three hour long race on a computer game 
and we can start keeping an eye on things. Mawson, he's out in front. I'm happy with him. Let's cut back to Falcaro, who's... Yeah, it's his turn now to be stuck in amongst the pack of cars. Um, but he's pushing hard. He's, who's he got there? He's got... Uh, I can't even see. He's got Ericsson for company. He's got Gunther just ahead of him. And he's going to have to sit in eighth. Ericsson just dropping back a little bit. falcaro has got that inside line and he just squeezes past Gunther. These two have gotten to know each other really, really well the last few races. And they are battling for seventh place. In the last race, they were they were together in first and second. As Schumacher's dropped behind into eighth place. What is going on with Schumacher there? But Falcaro has moved up into eighth. He's performing quite well. So now we can start backing off the tyres a little bit. I want them to be mindful of that. I was getting a bit carried away with four laps in and their tyre temperatures are really, really up at the moment. But I'm not too concerned just yet because we are going to be pitting Mawson quite early um, because he's going to go onto the softs. He's going to stay on the whole of the softs as long as possible and then he'll have to uh, split onto the, get onto the super softs for you know 10, 15 laps at the end of the race. So I'm not too concerned if he burns through his tyres uh, too quickly. But I am, of course, keeping an eye on the fuel because they're one and a half laps in the deficit at the moment. But Falcaro has got a bit of a gap now. He's got PK in front. Um, Ericsson and Gunther are tripping over one another. And Gunther and, the, and his teammate Schumacher are right neck and neck as well. Prima Power team are doing very, very poorly. As Mawson's built a two and a half second lead over Hyman. Um, and don't, let's not forget, Mawson has backed off considerably. His tyres aren't... Uh, he's burning through his super softs quicker than the others, but this is where the strategy is going to come in for him. We want him to burn through these super softs. Let's let's get that pace going because then he can go onto the softs and we can slow things down a little bit. He might drop back into the pack when he pits, but then hopefully that race comes back to us uh, when he has to pit again onto the softs at the end and he can you know really push hard. So that's that's my thinking. Whereas Falcaro, he's going to we're going to try and stretch him out as long as possible. And truth be told, I think I may have made a mistake by leaving him. Um, to be burning through his softs as hard as possible. And he's still really... The tyre temperatures on his softs are really, really high at the moment. So I've got to keep an eye on that. Because as you can see, if you look at his tyre wear there on the, the standings on the left, he's just dropped past that 75% mark. And he's got Gunther in 8th, and he's he's not even on 75% yet. And the guys at the back, like Tictum, he's barely b b ruining his softs at, at all. You know, he's barely um, damaging them. So we've got to keep an eye, because that's the sort of long game that... Uh, the, comp the competitors are going to be uh, looking as well. They're going to be doing a similar sort of strategy, I think. Let's stretch these softs out as long as possible and see where we can go. There's Mawson. He's 2.1 seconds. Time is closing the gap a little bit. Then there's a huge gap um, to Tevetta as we'll cut ahead to Tevetta because it looks like he's holding up Daravala a little bit. There's Hyman going off into the distance. And Mawson's ahead of him. So as long as Tevetta keeps holding up Daravala and PK, because they're, they're three of those cars, they're very, very close together. And as long as Tevetta can keep holding them up, then that, that works out well for Mawson, for his strategy. Um, and still worrying about those tyre temperatures a little bit. They are coming down, but of course it is quite warm today. It's 23 degrees. Um, in Milan and Guildford, the, tire, the temperature was sort of 13, 14 degrees. So that's why the, the tyre temperatures are quite high at the moment. And we'll cut back to Falcaro in 6th place because it does look as though Ericsson's closing that gap a little bit as Gunther and Schumacher are tripping over one another behind us. And look at that, there's a big gaggle of cars behind, so you don't want to be overtaken by uh, by Ericsson here because otherwise all these cars will suddenly be right on Falcaro's tail and then it becomes really, really hard to, to, you know, to, to maintain decent pace uh, because when, when you're in there, okay, well, we saw it with Mawson and Guildford, um, and to a little extent in Milan uh, before the rain came down. When you've got a lot of cars around you, you can't get that clean air, you can't get you know the, the, the throttle down as early, you can't, you've got to brake a bit earlier. Um, so it, it's crucial, but Mawson's leading this race still. He's building up that lead a little bit more over Hyman, back up to two and a half seconds, as Falcaro is, is leading a bit of a truly train at the moment, but it's not really because of him. Um, Ericsson's not really catching up too much. Everyone's sort of just holding stations really aren't they I'm keeping an eye on those tyre temperatures um, please be shouting at the screen for me uh, if, if I forget about them and they drop too low but as you can see Ericsson's just closing up that little bit on that final final corner there he really starts to close down as I'm looking at Mawson he's got 43% so he's going to have to start pitting soon but I'm looking at Pyman as well because look he's starting his tyre wear is very similar to Mawson isn't it so what we don't want is been 2.6 seconds. There's a real possibility of an undertake happening. 
even more so with Falcaro, like someone like uh, like Ericsson, he's going to be pitting soon. Uh, but Gunther, he's he's the one that we've got to keep an eye on because he could do an undercut um, and then get ahead of Falcaro. So that's something that we've got to keep an eye on. So what I might do is I'm looking at the lap time. We've got 13 laps done. So let's start pushing a little bit on Mawson. And let's get him in pitted because we want to pit before Hyman does so that we can cut off any under uh, undercut. Um, as we'll quickly go back then towards Hyman. Let's see where he is. There he is there in second place. He's performing very, very well. And uh, after the... In Guildford, remember, he retired. And I, when did he finish in uh, in Milan? I'm going off memory here. I think he was on the podium. He, was, he must have been third. or He was definitely third or fourth. Um, and so he's, he's, he's one to watch for T-Sport. Uh, but 2.8 seconds now. We're just starting to build away from that undercut, which is really what we want to see because... We don't want, you know, if, if we get within a second, the undercut really comes into play. And we don't want Hyman to do that. We don't want him to pit a lap before us. Because he can do that. He's got that, that possibility. Because if we go, when we go around and he comes into the pit, he's got that lap before we can react to it. So that's that's critical for us. As Falcaro is still holding on to sixth place. He's doing quite well. I don't think he's anything to worry about. He's, there's a huge gap. There's What's that? That's really... 3 seconds, 3.2 seconds uh, from PK further up the road. But uh, we are now going around for our final lap as there's debris on the track. I did actually see, but I didn't see who it was, that someone um, has got a drive through penalty or at least a penalty for something that happened. But it certainly doesn't seem to be a safety car or anything like that. So we are going to pit more, so we're putting him onto the softs. Keeping an eye on the park condition. At the moment, we're not doing too badly. And um, Remember, uh, in the previous episode, we made sure that all his reliability was right up. Putting him on a fast pit stop. This is critical for us. So we are really going to gung-ho it around this uh, last lap then because we want him to start to build a huge lap. 3.7 seconds over Hyman, who hasn't pitted yet. So that puts us in prime position now. Whether Hyman comes in and pits at the same time as us or not, who knows. But as you can look at our tyre wear, because we're really burning through those tyres, Hyman, he might stay out for another lap yet, which that would really benefit us as let's rotate the camera around let's see how the pit stop goes it's a flawless pit stop Hyman did not pit that is a huge huge event in this race because he did not pit we come out behind Aaron who's quite slow but if we need to get in front of him we have to get in front of Aaron and we do that's critical for our race because Hyman is he's free now he can really start pushing and that's what he's going to start doing so he's going to be coming into the pit soon keep an eye on him over there as Sato's coming to the pit to repair damage so that was obviously who was to blame and it looks like Hyman's come into the pits let's see where we where we come out because where is he where is he he's nowhere we come out ahead of Hyman and we are in fifth place and Hyman is what's that 3.4 seconds behind us that is huge. That's a that's a good, good set of pit stops there. As Falcaro has moved up into second place now, uh, because he hasn't pitted yet. He's obviously going for the long game. Um, and he is behind Tavetta, who's managing his tyres very, very well, that must be said. Um, Ericsson, he's in third place, and he has yet to pit. No, he's come into the pits now. So Gunther Mawson now in fourth place. But Gunther, he should be quite slim pickings. This is critical for Mawson now. He needs to get in front of Gunther because Gunther's going to be going a lot slower than him. He's, tires have, he's been going on these tyres now for 19 laps. Mawson's only been on them for a few. So this is huge. So what I'm going to do is let's bump him up. Let's bump up his en engine mode as well. Let's get in front of Gunther because he's going to be out for a little while yet. And this lap, he must overtake him on this lap. He's surely got the better speed. He's on the outside of Gunther. And coming into the first turn, he made that look quite easy, didn't he, really? As we'll start to back things off a little bit now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set Falcaro. And I can get the strategy. Click the, click the right button. I'm going to put allow teammate through. So when Mawson comes through, I want Falcaro to step aside. Because Falcaro's on a different strategy than him. I don't want them tripping over each other and affecting Mawson's race. And we do have to keep an eye on their fuel as well. They're still bringing that fuel down. That's going to come to us. I'm not too concerned about that. And I'm going to start saving Mawson's tyres a little bit because that tyre temperature is really, really high. And Mawson is closing up. He's got a, what's that, a 1.5 second deficit to his teammate Fake Falcaro. Uh, Tavetta is, he's, this is, Tavetta's got a very good race strategy going on here. He's built a nine second lead over Falcaro. And he's got better tyre wear. So keep an eye on Tavetta because I'm I'm a bit concerned about him. He might come back into this race. And I'm fairly certain at the start he was 
way down. He was sort of down in 15th or something, wasn't he? And now he's right back up there after those first lot of pit stops. Now, Hyman, however, um, worth mentioning, because he was coming second, remember, he pitted after us, which was, was huge. He came back out onto the super soft tyres, and he is, what's that? He's closing up a little bit on Mawson now. Um, he's got Gunther in between us, and there he is there. So there's Hyman. Gunther's in fourth, just behind the, uh, the South African flag there, and there's Mawson. Hyman's really pushing for this one, because he thinks he can get out on the super soft, build a bit of a lead over Mawson, but then Mawson's coming onto the super softs as well, so that could change things. But I'm interested to see Hyman's strategy because he might just do super soft, super soft, super soft. Try and say that quickly. So keep an eye on Hyman as well. To better, he's going to have to start thinking of pitting soon. So is Falcaro actually. He's going to have to start looking at pitting. So I think what I may do is ah, oh, this is a tricky thing to think of, isn't it? We're going to have to start pitting here. I'm going to start pitting Falcao. So let's start pushing him now. And what we'll do... As says Hyman. Sorry, I, whilst I'm too busy looking at Falcao, I'm thinking of what to do. Hyman has closed in on Mawson now. This is huge. Now, have I just missed my opportunity to pit Falcao? No, I don't think I have. So what we'll do... We've got 36 laps remaining. Hmm. Hmm. What do I do? Now, what I don't know, and I'm a moron, is... Do we have to go on the super softs as well as the softs, or can we just pit once for the softs and be happy? I might keep Falcaro out then and just pit him for the softs. That'll be huge. Because if we could do that, as long as we don't have to change anything, and I can't see the rules, I don't know what to do. So I think we're going to take a gamble here. We're going to keep Falcaro out for one more lap as Mawson's battling bravely with... Hyman right behind him on the soft. If we can keep Hyman behind us, then the race is ours to lose. Let's not forget that. But, because he's 12.2 seconds behind Tevedo Mawson, so I'm not too worried about Tevedo um, staying ahead when he eventually pits. But we have to stay ahead of Hyman if we want to win this race. Because Hyman, if he gets in front of us, he goes off into the sunset and we never see him again. Um, as falcaro has gone around, so he's going to go around one more time. So what I'll do is I'll change that now, and I'll put him onto the soft compound tyres. Keep an eye on all these parts. They're all good. And a fast pit stop. So Tevedo could do something very similar here. And so we are really, really pushing Falcaro. We want to get him far up here. Look how far away he's, he's starting to pull away from Lawson uh, because he's really pushing uh, his uh, driving style since he's in attack mode. Now let's, let's burn through those tyres. Whereas uh, Mawson, we're trying to ease him back a little bit. We want these tyres to last as long as we can. But we don't want them. We're not too concerned. Because how long did the softs last? They last a few laps. A good 18 or so laps. That was a great pit stop from Julian Falcaro. Where is he going to come out? He is going to come out into 7th place. 8th, 9th, 10th. No, 11th, 12th. Who knows? He's in 11th place behind a big gaggle of cars. That might not have worked for him. Um, as we'll just keep him uh, his tyres down. We're going to see if we can stretch him to the end of the race. Um... But Mawson's the one that we're keeping an eye on. As he's, look at this. He's starting to pull away from Hyman now. Hyman's going to have to start thinking of pitting soon. And this is where our race comes into it. We don't want that gap from Tevetta to get too big. Because otherwise Tevetta's going to come in and pit. And he's going to be on a far, far better race strategy. As Falcaro has moved up to 10th now because Sasahara has pitted. So he's back where he was at the start of the race. We'll quickly flick over to him. Um, he's got Tickton for company in front of him. And he's got Sims just behind him and you can see there Falcaro he's looking at overtaking but doesn't seem to be uh, much going on there so we'll cut back to the front where Mawson's sitting in second place Tevetta he must be thinking of pitting soon as you can see Tevetta going around there on the uh, on the mini map he's quite a way up the road from us there's a 20th place which is Sato in between us now Sato's race is over let's not forget that because he had to pit for damage so his race is effectively done um, but Falcaro, however, he's moved up to 8th now. He's got a few things happening on his side. He's overtaken Tickton, but I don't know who the other one is that he's overtaken. Because I'm too busy watching Mawson. Maybe I shouldn't. And we'll quickly cut back to Falcaro. Is he's, who's that? He's got Palau right on his tail. Palau's pitted, though, so that's that's freed up Falcaro uh, from any uh, battles in this lap. As he's got PK in front of him. He's got Sims behind him. But there's a bit of a gap there for Falcaro, so he can start building up some lap times. Uh, which is promising for him. Um, we will just back him off a little bit now. Mawson's still in second as Hyman's coming into pit. Hyman is going to pit. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch Hyman. Let's see how long he takes to pit. Let's see if it 
And please stuff it up. Please stuff it up. We obviously we can't see it, but that looked like a pretty quick pit stop as that's freed up Mawson now. He is six seconds up the road from Tavetta, who he pitted for soft. So that, thank God, I because I don't know the rules. Thank God it doesn't look like we need to um, use a two of two both compounds. I should say we don't need to use both of them. Um, so we should be able to stretch Falcaro to the end of the end of the race now. Maybe. Who knows? We'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, Mawson, we're not going to do that with him, are we? We are going to bump him up a little bit. We want... Let's start building a, a bit of a gap. Tavetta's got a five-second lead, a uh, five-second deficit to us, um, but that will become a sort of 15-second lead when we pit. So we need to start looking at really, really pushing now. We need to build up a huge lead um, as, as much as we can so that when we drop onto the Super Softs, we are only, you know, five, six seconds behind Tavetta with, you know, 10, 15 laps to go, and we can really um, put the hammer down. But, you know, who knows? We'll have to wait and see on that one. As no one is on the Super Softs now. Everyone's on the Softs, but in varying degrees of tyre wear. So Tictum's going to have to pit soon as well. Um, we've got 4.4 seconds. Tavetta's actually closing down on Mawson. Falcaro, he's not doing too badly either. I don't think he's going to be catching up to Tavetta, unfortunately. Um, it does look like Daravala. Daravala's going to have to pit again. PK's most likely going to have to pit again too. Um, so we should be able to move up to sort of third. Um, Tavetta, he's, he's going to the end of the race now. So I think Falcaro, he's, he's what that? He's 14 seconds behind Tavetta. So Falcaro's race win, that's not going to happen, unfortunately. As it looks like it's getting a bit dark, doesn't it? Isn't that just me? It looks like it was getting very dark there. I thought maybe the rain was going to be coming down, because there was a 40% chance, if you remember, uh, in, from the last episode. But Mawson's starting to build up that bit of a gap again now. He's got 5.2 second lead. We need that to be a lot more, unfortunately. Um, the Soft's last 20 laps, I believe it is. We'll have a quick book, just to double check. Uh, 20 to 22 laps, yeah, I'm spot on. So, by lap 39 we can start looking at, do we pit Morsa? That's that's the important thing. Um, we've got 50% uh, tire wear left. That's going to be really burning through now. So we've got to be a little bit careful because he's, his tire temperatures are right up there. Whereas uh, Falcaros are dropping a little bit. So we want to keep them in that sweet spot in the middle. But Mawson, 5.4 seconds ahead of Tavetta. Oh, what do we do? This is so, so tricky. This is going to be a tough one. Because I don't know how long the pit stop goes for. Like, from, from pit entry to pit exit, you've got to look at around 20 seconds. So, Mawson could be as far as sort of 15 seconds behind. So, he could be coming out in sort of third place uh, behind Daravala or behind Tavetta or behind maybe behind PK. Who knows? Yes, Daravala, yes, PK. They both have to pit. Whereas Mawson, he won't then. He'll, you know, he'll be going to the end of the race. Falcaro is most likely going to the end of the race as well. And if you keep an eye on Tavetta's tyres there, he is really burning through them. He's catching up to Falcaro in tyre wear. Um, but Falcaro has been on the tyres for five, six laps longer. So that's that that's interesting because Tavetta is going to start dropping away quite quickly towards the end of this race. So keep an eye on him as Mawson can't seem, just can't seem to build that lap. Can't seem to build anything, can he? We want to go as long as we can on these softs so that when we go onto the super soft, we can really fly ahead. But we've got a bit of traffic up ahead. We've got that Sato in 20th place. He's going to get blue flag to obviously let Mawson through, but we still lose a bit of time when a blue flag gets waved because you've still got to get past. You've got to wait for the right time to get through. Um, that could really hurt us. So keep an eye on that gap um, as Devetta's starting to close it down now. He's really starting to push hard. Oh, this is so agonizingly tough to make these decisions. But Mawson can't seem to catch up either. As we are on lap 39 now. So we have 21 laps remaining. Tavetta's going to the end of the race and he is closing down. So do we have to consider pitting? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into attack driving mode now. Let's burn through these last... We've got 33%. I think pit after this lap. So another lap and a half, let's say. Um, and then we'll pit Mawson onto the super softs. And that should see him to the end of the race. Keep an eye on Falcaro, of course, because we don't want him to be dropping too far back. Um, and we don't want him to his tyre temperature to climb too high either. As there's Mawson. He's got through. He's got past that traffic. That's huge. Let's start putting the hammer down. We are going to have to pit. So let's pit now. Let's put him onto the super softs. Check out his condition, his park conditions. They're good. Fast pit stop, of course. Let's keep an eye on this. On This is his in-lap. We've got a safety car. We've got a safety car. We're ignoring that. We don't want Falcaro to come in. Now we have to start looking. Asado has crashed out. He crashed out right behind us. You guys probably saw that. I didn't because I wasn't looking. 
but we are pitting Mawson now. We've got time. That's This is going to be great for us. Tevetta, there's Tevetta going off there. He's just going to pass the... Uh, across the start finish line and we're going to come out in second place on s fresh fresh tires this is going to be epic we this puts us in a huge position because Tavera he can't really pit now he's stuck on those soft tires he's going to have to use them to the end of the race they'll get him to the end of the race just like Falcaro who's up into third now so we are in a great position because Mawson has just pitted that couldn't have worked any better for us. We've got the safety car. We have got fresh, super soft tyres. They're going to burn through. Um, we, can, we can up the, the driving style, be a bit more aggressive, because we need to get in front of Tavetta. If Falcaro can as well, then that's even better still. I can't see that happening, unfortunately, because Falcaro has got a bit more tyre wear than Tavetta. But this brings the race to us. That just timed it to perfection that safety car you couldn't have had it any better could you so i'll quickly speed up the safety car because we are happy with where we are and we can start looking at amping up the the speed and aggression as we'll do that now let's bump up that aggression we want overtake mode overtake mode attack and overtake as you can see the tire temperatures are right down if we can get Mawson and Falcaro ahead of Tavetta, and here we go on the restart then. Tavetta got a better start than Mawson, but Mawson comes climbing back. He's having a quick look, but he can't get him onto the first corner. Falcaro is building a bit of a lead over Gunther in fourth place as we are really, really battling with Tavetta. We need them up there. Can we do so? We've got a bit of fuel to burn, but Mawson's burning through it very, very quickly. We just can't seem to get past Tavetta. He's going to have to back off, but Mawson is still going to stay on his tail. He's got really brand new fresh super soft tires Tavetta's on used soft tires but we just can't seem to close that gap Falcaro is closing up onto Mawson at the moment and we are going into deficit on the fuel for Mawson we are going to have to look at backing things off and he couldn't get past what a race restart by Tavetta he's holding on to first place we're second and third Falcaro is now looking and saying let me pass let me pass my teammate because I, I'm faster than him how is this happening? Mawson's on the super soft tyres and he is not doing anything. As we are going to back them right off again onto the engine mo modes, unfortunately. So Mawson should be able to hold second, but Tavetta's starting to pull away. How is this happening? We've got 14 laps to go and Tavetta's pulling away. It, Mawson's holding holding up Falcaro and we have to be careful now because Falcaro is coming under attack from Gunther, PK and Sims. Sims is dropping off a little bit but Gunther and PK are fighting hard. Falcaro is just clinging on to that third place as we'll keep an eye on Tavetta because I expect him, his tyres have to start wearing surely but Mawson, he, what is he doing? He's holding them up. That's just so frustrating. Oh, that is just disappointing. I saw, I, you know, I had I had first and second in my eyes, in my mind. I just thought, this is it. This is our race. And Falcaro, we'll quickly cut back to Falcaro because he is fighting hard third place. PK is closing out. He's got fresh, soft tyres. Falcaro doesn't. Falcaro, we've got to back him off massively now, as I might have just stuffed that up for Falcaro. But if we can hold, hold the others back, now we've got to change our strategy. Falcaro, we need him to hold up PK and Sims because they're going to be closing down on Mawson. How is this happening? Mawson's got the better tyres and he's not doing anything. This is a terrible, terrible third stint by Mawson. Mawson is starting to pull away a little bit, but probably not enough to make a big difference. He's two seconds behind Tavetta in first place and Tavetta's tyres are halfway through their life and their slower tyres. I'm really, really disappointed with Mawson. I thought this was the race where he came back, but unfortunately it doesn't look like it's going to be, does it? Because we've got to back them both off because their their tyre temperatures are, are really, really warm. So I'll speed things up a little bit now because we seem to be holding position. Uh, Falcaro just starting to pull away from PK. It looks like they backed off a little bit. But I'm mindful of Falcaro now with 10 laps to go. What can we do? We're gonna, we might even have to pit Falcaro. That's going to be shocking. I don't want to do that. But he's going to start dropping down the field. But the good thing is, is there's PK. PK has got past Falcaro. And it looks like Sims is going to do the same thing with 10 laps to go. Falcaro's dropped to 5th. We're going to have to back him right off. 
Mawson though, now we'll cut back to Mawson quickly. He's 2.3 seconds behind Tavetta, but he has got a 2.4 second lead over PK. Keep an eye on that one. That one just down there, the bottom left corner, 2.4 seconds uh, ahead of PK. We don't want PK closing up. Mawson can keep second, I'll be quite happy with that. But Falcaro though, he's in a midst of a huge tussle. He's got Gunther behind him. Gunther's going to make quite light work of him as well. Falcaro just holding on, however, and he maintains fifth, but for how long? I don't think he's going to be able to keep this up for eight laps, is he? And there you go. There's Gunther going past there, and we are going to have to back this guy up. We can up Mawson's fuel consumption a little bit. Falcaro might even drop out of the points here. He is so far behind. He's dropped to seventh. He's back into eighth now. This is a poor performance from both drivers. I am really, really disappointed because we had we were second and third. Falcaro's tyre wear is terrible. I don't think he's even going to get to the end of the race here. Keep an eye on Gunther because if Gunther pits, then we will have to pit as well. But where is Gunther? There's Gunther up there. He's got 25% wear. Falcaro's got 30. So Gunther might have to pit. So I may have stuffed up Falcaro's race here because if he comes out after the pit stop... He will be dead last, basically. And I'm so, so, so disappointed with that. As Mawson, 2.5 seconds. So his race is effectively done as well. Oh, my goodness me. My goodness me. I'm, I'm without words at how badly we stuffed up the restart after the safety car. Mawson has really annoyed me. 2.7 seconds behind Tavetta. He should be... On top of him, you know, he should have he should have had him in, in that first lap, and he didn't. And he's falling behind. He can't even close in on Tavera, who he will be able to last the race now. As Falcaro's dropped to ninth, he's got Schumacher right on his tail. Now, a few things have changed. Norris and Gunther have pitted. We have moved up to eighth, and I'm not going to pit him. We've only got a few laps to go. I'm not going to pit him. I don't think it's worth pitting. So we may scrape something out of this. I'll, I'll take 10th. I'll take a point for Falcaro. And who's that? Hyman has come into pit now as well. So we've moved up to 7th. Not for very long, however. As Schumacher blows past us. Mardenborough should be able to get past us as well. And we'll just up the fuel. We've got to keep an eye on, uh, on everything now. Because Mawson's 2nd. He's closed the gap to 2 seconds over to Vetta with 2 laps to go. So let's up things a little bit on his engine mode. Keep an eye on the fuel because we obviously don't want them to, to run out of fuel. We'll cut back to Morrison, but keep an eye on his gap as he's back to 2.4 seconds. So I'm actually just going to drop him back. You know, nothing's going to change there. And I'll drop Falcaro back. He's ninth. He's got a 1.1 second lead over Jensen in 10th. And this is the final lap now. So nothing really is going to change, I don't think, as we'll cut over to Mawson. There's Mawson there. He's got second, so now PK's uh, 3.8 seconds behind him. And he can see to better Mawson, and I hope he sees him. And I hope he sees the team celebrating, uh, because he... He lost that. That was his race to win as Tavetta crosses the line for his first win of the season. Mawson comes in second. It's a good performance, but he could have come first. I'm so angry with him. Falcaro, ninth. Um, I just, just did all right with the tyres there. He was down to 12% tyre wear. Um, I, I'm so bitterly, bitterly disappointed. And there's Tavetta there going into the pit lane. Uh, for his first race win. He will be thrilled to bits with that. And his teammate Tickton just finished just outside the points. So fingers crossed they don't jump us in the uh, in the standings. As we'll have a quick look at the tyre history then. So as you can see, Tavetta, he started... Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's go position tracker first and see where Tavetta started this race because I actually can't remember. So he started it in, in fourth. So I take that back because who was that? Someone dropped a lot. It was Tickton that, that dropped. It's a veteran ticked him. That, that's why I got that confused. So we started in fourth. So that's that's not too bad, I'll be honest with you. I'm quite happy with that. We want... Uh, we're not pit stop history. Where are we? Tire history. There you go. So what did he do? See, he went 30 laps on those first tires. Falcaro only went 26 laps. And Tickton managed to go 34 laps. That's incredible. And as you can see, most people were pitting quite similar times. There you go. Lap... Lap 41, a lot of people came into pit there. And we, we sort of started that because we jumped onto the super softs. And that was when the safety car happened. So that's why everyone sort of pitted on that lap. Because there's Sato there down the bottom. 
Use your mouse, not your finger. Um, yeah, so everyone sort of pitted on that lap. But we were the only ones that came onto the super soft tyres. Everyone was still on softs. And yet, if you go to the gap to leader, and you go to that lap, lap 41, do a lot of clicking. There it is there. And we go Ryan Tavetta, take off Julian Falcaro. So there's lap 41. So we closed up. We were a second behind, and we closed it down. We must have been almost like we were 0.3 of a second on lap 42. And then he just pulled away. I, I am so angry. So angry. That is really, really disappointing. Oh, that was that was our race to win. And Mawson blew it. I'm not going to blame Falcaro too much. Um, but, ah, oh, that's so frustrating. So there's the confirmation there. So Ryan Tavetta did come first with Joey Mawson 2.2 seconds behind him in second place. Pedro Pique makes the uh, the podium for the first time with uh, then it's Alexander Sims, Daravala, Joel Eriksson, Mick Schumacher for Prima Power Team. They were the only, he was the only uh, driver to score points. I think we're first in the standings. Uh, we got Jan Martinborough in eighth. Julian Falcaro, disappointing with him in ninth, but he did move up one position. And um, Jan Martinborough actually got a drive through penalty as well, so he should have been further up. Um, and Mikkel Jensen for T Sport picks up the last points position. But the fastest lap bonus goes to Ralph Aaron down in 13th place. So that's uh, quite promising for him. Um, Sato was the one that crashed out. Alex Palau in 19th. Sesahara down in 18th. And Lando Norris uh, in 17th. Now he was the one that topped practice he topped practice and since then he's done nothing he does nothing in qualifying he does nothing in race i'm surprised about that i really expected him to be further up and uh rail hyman as well he dropped 13 places i'm wondering if he was got involved in an accident uh, early on because sato remember had to pit for the, the damage and hyman there's no no reason for him to be that that far down um so there's the there's the podium to better first mawson don't be smiling mawson because i'm really really disappointed with you Really disappointed with you. But here's the uh, the Drivers' Championship. So Julian Falcaro holds on to top spot because Maximilian Gunther didn't even score in the end because he pitted right at the end. That was a stupid mistake by Primo. They should have just, you know, backed him right off like what we did and he would have scored points and probably stayed top or, or at least moved to top. Ryan Tavetta jumps all the way up to third with that race win. Joey Mawson also moves up to fifth as well. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with all of that, to be honest. And Ralph Aaron, um, he, he's actually scored a point before, but those two points uh, move him up to 14th with three. Um, and so there's only four drivers that haven't scored. We've got Tictum, Sato, Makino, and Palau who haven't scored points. Um, wow. Oh, my God. We are first. And we are 11 points clear. Maybe I should have designed a part in that last episode. I should have designed an engine, but I didn't. How are we winning? I don't understand. How are we winning? I don't know. I don't know. We're coming first. I don't like this. I thought this is going to be such an easy season. We're just going to tank. We might get the odd point. You guys will think this guy's got no idea. And instead, we're tanking and we're coming first. I mean, if nothing else, it looks good on my resume. And hopefully next year we might be able to step up to Formula 2 or Formula 1 even. Um, but I don't know what to do. Do I spend all that money? I don't know. This is so frustrating. <laughs> Joey Mawson's morale actually climbs quite drastically, which is really, really good there. Um, whereas Falcaro's relationship with his mechanic has actually nosedived. That's that's interesting. Um, has Falcaro slipped back to the way he was? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, we're expected to come 10th um, in this race, and we finished with a second place. So I'm pretty thrilled with that. Um and there's confirmation of getting more and more money. We've got 14.4 million pounds with Julian Falcaro leading the Drivers' Championship and Coiron and GP leading the Team Championship. Ooh. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you pop a big thumbs up on there if you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you in a couple of days' time for the next race in Dubai. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to, go to, I'm going to go away and do some serious hard thinking about what we do for the rest of this season. Thanks, guys. See you later. Ooh.